Hey YouTube, Pete the Norfolk Head, happy spicy Saturday. I am back once again with another spicy product review. I'm making a bit of a detour this time into some spicy chili mayonnaise. One of my favorite places to eat, um, probably in the entire UK, is GBK, Gourmet Burger Kitchen. And one of the things that makes their burgers so fantastic is the really nice sauces and dressings that you get on those burgers. I was really surprised uh, recently when I went into my local Tesco supermarket and found that you can now get GBK uh, sauces and, and dressings and all that kind of stuff um, in your local supermarket. I just had to pick up um, one of all of the ones that they had really, all of the spicy ones at least. This one I have to admit I've already started. Um, I try not to test my products before I review them because I do like to review them first on camera. But this one just sounded so good, I just had to try it out. I couldn't wait. Gourmet Burger Kitchen's smoked chili mayonnaise. And this is a chili mayonnaise with chipotles and smoked paprika. I'm not going to go through all of the ingredients because if you can see on the side of the tin there, there's an absolute ton of them. Um, but you have got things like smoked um, uh, chipotle chili puree at 5.1%. Uh, you've got things like apple, garlic puree, um, onion, sugar, coarse grain mustard, sugar, molasses, spices, soy sauce, all that kind of stuff. There's no website actually listed on here, but if you went to uh, Google and just typed in GBK or Gourmet Burger Kitchen, I'm sure you will find it just uh, very easily. And uh, there's also um, a recipe on the back of the label here, so if you wanted to peel that back and uh, try out whatever is listed on there, um, you can go right ahead and do that. Let's get this open and enjoy, as it says on the top of the cap there, some burger joy at home. So, as I said, it's already been opened. As soon as you open it, you really do get that lovely, smoky, um, chili-ish aroma coming straight through. It really does smell quite chili-ish, which is really fantastic. You can tell there's some spices going on in there. It certainly doesn't smell like your average typical mayo. And it does kind of have a nice sort of a reddish, sort of chili-ish kind of colour to it. As if, uh, you know, it's kind of like your usual white coloured mayonnaise and they've added some chilies to it. Probably some spices as well. It really smells very nice indeed. So I'm just going to get some on the spoon here. And you can probably see, <laughs> it's actually quite chunky. Um, it does have quite a few things, bits of stuff floating around in there. So. Without further ado, let's get it down before it drips. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out what the bits of stuff in there are that I'm actually chewing down on. Possibly some of that coarse mustard, possibly some tomato, I don't know if there's some, maybe some red chilies in there, but there's, there's fruit like apple and garlic puree, so all of that's probably you know, contributing to um, you know, the texture, there's some dry red pepper in there, dried onion, dried garlic, all kind of stuff. So the texture is really nice. I'm glad it's not just your typical smooth um, mayonnaise, you know, it does give it that kind of extra little bit of, of originality because most mustard, most uh, mayonnaises are um, really quite smooth, aren't they? So to have one that's quite chunky is really good. Mm. Very nice. The, the smokiness is quite subtle. Certainly not a strong smokiness, but it is definitely there. It's definitely nice and smoky. It's got a kind of a sweetness to it as well, and it's definitely got some nice spices floating around in there. I think you do get some of that paprika coming through. Heat-wise, extremely mild, probably about one out of ten on the heat scale, but it does have that nice chili-ish kind of flavour, and like I say, the smokiness coming through, partly from that chipotle. And it's really fantastic. I mean, to put it on a burger, and probably a hot dog as well actually, um, just be absolutely perfect. I, do, I can just imagine it now with all the bacon on top and the crispy bacon and oh, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic, it really is good. On the sort of the flavour scale, I guess I'd probably give it about, I don't know, probably about an 8 out of 10. Pretty damn good. Heat scale, like I say, probably only about a 1 out of 10. That's probably the only way that I would actually improve the entire product is to make it that bit hotter, bring it up to maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10. 
um, on my heat scale. Heat levels aside, it's a fantastic product. It's really tasty and it will go really, really nicely on your burgers. And if you're a fan of that kind of smoky, um, chipotle-ish, smoked spices kind of uh, flavour and aroma, um, then you'll definitely love this one. And it's uh, definitely one to put on your burgers, definitely. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I've been beating off with Chili Head. Happy Spicy Saturday, and I'll be back once again very soon if I can put two words together uh, with another review. Catch you later.